So, we're gonna help you to install Splunk on Linux using non-root user. Basically there are 7 steps to install Splunk on Linux. First we have to create non-root user on Splunk Linux machine. Second we download the Splunk for Linux from Splunk website. You can try a free 60 days trial with 500 megabytes index per day. Next, we have to copy the downloaded file to Splunk machine using WinCP. After that we'll untar the downloaded file to the appropriate directory or any installation folder you want. Then we change owner of the Splunk installation folder to the non-root user so Splunk non-root user get the full rights and permissions for the folder. Finally we go to the Splunk installation folder to start the Splunk process. Usually we also need to configure Splunk to automatically start at boot time. Then we'll review some helpful commands with Splunk operation like help command stop start command and the restart command. Next, we're gonna create a non-root user for Splunk. So to create the non-root user, we need to SSH to the Splunk machine using root user. After that, use the command user add Splunk to create new Splunk user. Then add Splunk user to group called Splunk by using the command group add Splunk. In my case, I've already created the Splunk user on Google Cloud Platform so the commands will prompt an error said that the user is already exists. Now the Splunk user is ready for the next steps. To download the Splunk for Linux, we have two ways. First we can use jcommand on Linux and second we can use a web browser to download. I'm gonna use Chrome browser for the download. Open Chrome, access the URL provided. In the download page for Linux we see that there are three types of file. Deb file for Debian Linux distro such as Ubuntu, the compressed TGZ file and the RPM file for distro such as CentOS. I'll download the TGZ file. Now we have the installation file. Next, we'll copy this file to Splunk machine. To copy this installation file to Splunk machine, I use the WinCP tool on Windows. Just click and drag the installation file to the Splunk machine and wait for the file transfer to complete. Next, we will uncompress the TGZ file that was transferred to Splunk machine in the previous step. To do that, we have to SSH to the Splunk machine using root user. Then go to the folder that contains the installation tgz file. cd slash home slash splunk slash. To confirm the existence of the file, execute the lslh command. Next, use the tar command to expand the tar file to appropriate directory with c option. In my case, I install splunk to opt folder. Now wait for the uncompress complete. Now we need to grant Splunk user to be owner of the installation folder to get the full rights and permissions for Splunk folder. We use the change own command, change own r Splunk Splunk slash opt slash Splunk slash. We can use the lslh slash opt slash to verify the result. As the result we see that Splunk user is now the owner of the Splunk folder. Splunk now ready to be started. We switch to the Splunk user using the su, Splunk. Then we access the slash opt slash splunk slash bin, run the command. Slash splunk start accept license to start splunk. The option accept license will skip all the license agreement page. Next we enter admin user and the credential for admin user. Then we wait for the process to complete. Now Splunk is already running but we may need to configure Splunk to automatically start at boot time. We use the command slash Splunk enable boot start. Now Splunk will automatically start when the device boots. To prevent Splunk from automatically start at boot time we use the command slash Splunk disable boot start. Now Splunk will not start at boot time. We need to manual start the Splunk service every time we reboot the device. Now we're able to log into Splunk using the web GUI. Open web browser. Access the Splunk web with port 8000. Please note that by default Splunk will not enable HTTPS for the web GUI so you might want to enable HTTPS for security reason. Using the admin credential that you created in the previous step to log in. You're good to go now.